Bueno, 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 saludos a la gente que todavía nos está escuchando. A la gente que nos está mirando, la gente que nos está escuchando a través de Tuning, saludos. La gente de Lipo Toma Radio, también saludos. Toda la banda que nos está viendo a través de Lipo.com. Toda la gente que nos está mirando a través de Twitch. También saludos a todos ustedes, gracias por estar aguantando todavía un rato más. Así es que ahorita ya nos vamos directo con la entrevista. Ayer, 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 ayer. Le pasamos el micrófono a Sergio. <risa> Vámonos, Sergio. Micrófono, ahí está, ya está. Yo. Check, okay. check, check. Hey. Ahora sí. Hey, gracias, Lalo. Gracias a toda la gente que está, que se conectó. Uh, ¿Puedes um, can you tell us the name of, of, your, uh, of the guys? Oh, oh, the comedians that perform today. Yeah. Oh, pues todos los putos que ya se fueron. Ajá, ándale, así que decir. cabrones. <laughs> Uh, uno de, el primero que, que vieron se, se llama Kevin Paniagua uh, El segundo vato que, que salió se llamaba Evan Reggie Luego Brandon Jones Brando. Y Amir Khalil Y yo soy, pues ya saben, Ray Reynolds uh, uh. Ray Naga Y ese es Chino LaForge hey. So what's up guys? Did you guys uh, enjoy the podcast today? Did you have fun? Oh, we had a blast, man. I, I, I absolutely had a really awesome time. Um, honestly, it was it was a little bit better than I expected at first. You know, there weren't that many people here, but once you know, people were like sitting in the chairs and like we got we got a pretty good vibe going on, man. I, I, I had a I had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. I felt like the people who were here were really into it. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it gave us a lot of energy, and I hope it uh, translated well to uh, the live stream too. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, because. Um, It's like uh, I told the, all the people following us, you know, like we don't do this kind of show. We just go with with his idea, my idea, what he produced. Like uh, as you see, like we know we don't talk to each other. We just do our jobs, and uh, hopefully, do the sound. I, I wanna hear it porque se va a ir chingón. I know because Lalo, uh, uh, my my producer Lalo from La Gran Miseria, he's the one behind everything. You know, he's the the one providing the spot and everything for. For my podcast today, man, and shout out, shout out to shout Lalo, out, thanks, La Gran Miseria, you know, Thank and you. to Adrián, that he 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 does uh, everything like behind the curtains, you know, like the tables, mics, you know, he does a good fucking job. Yeah, I saw him. He was a ninja. Yeah, here, right. Switching yeah, yeah, out dude. mics and and fixing everything super quick. That was awesome. That's that's hard to do. I, I've done sound tech before. And that's not that's it's not easy to do <laughs> just really quickly while everyone's watching you. So gotta careful hands. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and Paul, that uh, he's our fucking security guard, and also he does the same shit as uh, Adrian too. So he does, uh, he, he he helps the band, he does the roadie thing, you know. He helps, he, he he really does some good ass fucking job. It's family effort, yeah, yeah. You guys all put in your work. And hard work shows. Good job, <laughs> great job, gentlemen. This is, yeah, this is man, killer, you, seriously. You guys, you guys everyone from the Sino de Clan is a good fucking crew, dude. Dude, this everyone. is an awesome production crew. I gotta say, man, you got you guys really rocked it. We got that fucking atmosphere and shit. Yeah, no, you have and a you have an oasis here because once you walk out that door, it gets a little scary. But this is <laughs> this place is, this feels <laughs> like a once you're outside. Yeah, once you're outside, you gotta. I, I'm It's like Sin City. I'm piecing out to my yeah. car. <laughs> it's it, like, it's the not. fucking twilight zone in here, man. Outside is just fucking just weirdos. Hey, at least I, right now. Yeah. I got my windshield washed, so I, I can't complain. I mean, I got so. my dick sucked behind a tra <laughs> behind a dumpster. Damn boy. <laughs> well, we both need cleaning, is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. we both need something clean. So, uh, so for our, our audience, um, so can, can you tell us a little a, a little bit more about yourself, like what you guys do like right now, and what you you gonna do in the future? Shit. Okay. Um, well, right now, man, I, I, I've been doing comedy for uh, just a little over a year now. Um, I just got back from Maui. I went out with Chino. Yeah. Over there. I dude, saw the pictures. Dude, I saw the fucking pictures. Dude. It was fucking awesome out there, man. I, I had, I had sand, a really, dude, really the fucking good time. Sand. The, the scene out there, the comics out there, man, there were some like really funny people out there. And, you know, um, yeah, it, it was just great. It was great. I, honestly, I was sad to come back. I didn't want to come back. I should have <laughs> just fucking stayed over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but 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 I came back, you know. It came down to honestly, I was I was gonna leave my kid behind and say fuck it, you know. There's <laughs> there's plenty of your kids mama. that grow up without dads and they're fine. They're just fine. But plenty of sons. 
<laughs> they grow up without dads that are. Yeah, uh, and they're yeah right. It, the, the, the girls not so the not so much. Bit more tough. They yeah. end up at they strip clubs. So so maybe you know they end up fine too. You know they got you know somebody has to entertain people. You know why not? But uh, really the, the reason I, I did come back and this is the truth is because like if you're fucking doing what we're doing comedy like this L A this is where the fuck you want to be, L A or New York. Um, personally, fuck New York. Uh, it's LA, cold, uh, man. LA, it's LA cold as shit. So, like, this is really where you want to be if you want to make this happen. It's you just, you so, don't so sound like fucking. I'm, I'm, I'm here already, so you know th- th- this. I'm serious? Yeah, I could have just retired and sold tacos from a from a lunch truck. That I seriously, there was somebody. Look, the first day that I was there, there was a a moped that somebody was selling. It was like like five or six hundred bucks, and I was like, okay, it's like I could I could buy that. And then I keep walking just down the street. I was uh, that, that day that uh, you guys went to pick me up that I found the lake. Oh, yeah. I, I was walking down to the beach and then I saw that moped. I was like, okay. And then I kept walking and I saw that lunch truck for sales. 2000 bucks for a taco lunch truck. I was like, what the fuck? Like the universe is trying to tell me something. It's like, just, just, just fuck everything. Just stay here. Just buy the lunch truck. But I, but I came back. Uh, yeah, for, for the fucking comedy. And yeah, we, we, we did this shit today. It was, it was uh, so much fun. But did you do something over there? Yeah, yeah. We did, we did shows out there. Chino actually open for Cheech and Chong, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah. Cheech and Chong. Got With the footage, man. Who couldn't <laughs> uh, just have it right here? Uh, I, I got pho- photography. I can't post the footage. It doesn't. Bo- the rights don't belong to me, of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, but no, it was, it was great. Um, 2,000, about 2,500 people showed up. And it was the biggest audience I've ever done. So that was a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's a different show. It's a different show when you're performing for that many people. There's not a lot of play. You can't really play with your audience. You can only uh, just do your set. Yeah, because... If anybody tries to talk to you, everybody behind them didn't hear them, so you're kind of wasting your time trying to deal with them, you know, so. And, uh, just a lot of things I didn't expect, but it was a lot of fun. Got to do, like, a 30-minute set close to you, so. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was they juicy. Heavy for you, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was great. I had but, a great hey, time. but we know that he has a lot of fucking material, so. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. This oh, guy, yeah. I've no. seen this guy do, like, what, like an hour? Yeah. Before? Yeah. yeah so but like, you're yeah. doing it in front of a lot of people, that's what it changes. It yeah. happened to me when I, because I, I do an MC right now, like, for 10 people, right? 20 people. And I feel cool, but whenever I see, like, 500, I'll be like, ah, oh, I better not fucking get up. Yeah. <laughs> but I say something stupid, you know? Like, yeah. just, just be doing my job as an MC. Just kind of play, with, like, like, like you said, with the crowd. I'm playing with the crowd. I'll be more professional, and then you'll deliver more fucking Right. Play. Right. There's there's a balance to it. You know, hosting is, is its own beast, where, especially but if you're yeah. a comedian, you can't can't put all of your funny into it it's more of a an interaction it's an interaction yeah you're keeping the energy at a perfect level so yeah yeah so the so the comedians all have are set up for like their, their best set possible you know it's uh, hosting is like making sure the show is at its best yeah and, um for this experience you know how do you feel doing this shit with us you know oh like great it's kind of like environment letting us filming you guys you know because Maybe some, somebody's up there writing your jokes right now. Don't blame us. <laughs> because, of, because we have a, fucking lot of, a lot of fucking fans and our followers. L- okay. Listen, I, I, I've, I've been doing this for about eight years now. A little over eight, eight years now. And um, I feel Don't like... Don't sue us, dude. No, no, Don't no. Don't fucking sue us. I feel like with audiences, you know, I've seen what the worst has to offer. So I, when I come into rooms like this, I'm stoked. This is, it's a, the, uh, the audience was sat close. There's no distractions in the room. Everybody was here for a show. I mean, that's that's all you can ask for, you know. You gave me the opportunity to perform to the audience, and I, I feel like I delivered. I mean, that's, that's, as long as we're set up for success, we love it. No matter, it could be 5, 10, it could be 10,000. Yeah. As long as you, we're set up for success and the room's ready for it, we're ready for it. Yeah. Definitely, man. Um, we, like, shit, we've done shows, man, where there's really just, like, no more people, less people than there was tonight. And as long as long as we have an audience, man. And then people and online. And we're just gonna online fucking do what we do, yeah. Right, thanks, and thanks and for I, watching I, and listening. By yeah, the way. man, a lot Thank of people you. I saw in there, man, all the comments and stuff, people were were, were tuning in and uh, and watching, and we, we appreciate it, man. That's just new fans and, your and new friends, exposure. Your friends, yeah, my brother oh, yeah. was watching from Kansas, man, you know, so uh, Danny, man, shout out, you know. My, uh, I had you know my cousin watching from over there too. Aunts and uncles probably. I think I had some some gente from Mexico también. So un I bet my auntie Trina is watching. Hi, auntie Trina. Yeah, she, Trina. She loves Toda me. la raza de Mexico yeah, le mando saludos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Like we create this space, like this loophole for hi, all of you guys. You know, like hopefully in the future, like for, like probably next month or month and a half, we could build something great. You know, with more like 
imagine this, you know, we fucking just pull it out of the fucking hat. Imagine fucking co-producing it, doing it right, and then, you know, so we do have something much better, you know? Oh, it's definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely, dude. I, I, I'm really excited, man. If you, if you really want to do something like this every every month or so, we can totally do it. This place has potential. I like it. And it, what's awesome about it is, like, you know, um, very open. You know, we, we're not we're not subject to a lot of the restrictions that we would have at, at a Don't at a normal word. venue. Don't so that, that really frees us up, and and we're able to do you know more stuff and put on a better show. You know, um, so hopefully, you know, the the people that watched that were here tonight and the people that tuned in, uh, hopefully they 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 had a good time and you know they'll come down next time and you know and join us here. You know, um, we. Can, yeah, please. I'm excited. Yeah, we, yeah. Can, we, can, I, I we really love am. more audiences. Yeah, please join us. Yeah. And we afterwards, we can have a breakdance battle. Look at the space. Fuck yeah, this dude. Awesome. dude. And we could let someone, like, tell a joke, you know, for five minutes, you know, do some, something good. Something you fun. Know? Yeah. yeah. You know, pro like, doing, like, a live podcast, you know, meets, like, some reality TV. Interacting with totally. The crowd. We can even do like a Q and A afterwards, where if they ever wanted to ask. That was that was the idea yeah. today, man. But I guess people had to go. Um, well, we're not very interesting. Uh, I mean, uh, we're boring. I'm, really. a, I'm, I mean, I'm an open book. Probably nobody's watching right now. They're probably watching porn, fingering their buttholes, in, and in Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Instagram. You know. There <laughs> are plenty of things much more interesting than two bald, hairy, bearded, or three. Yeah. You know, hey, bearded fat I, guys on a stage. I, I prefer you know? balding. Balding. Yeah, I'm not bald. Balling. Well, I mean, like technically, I mean, I'm not bald, but I mean, my hair is short. I'm I mean, sure. it's it's. I'm just sensitive. You just hit yeah, it. Let me see that, man. Dude. I got I got vampire hair, vampire. where it's like you can't I, you can you can look at it in normal light, but the second you take a picture, you're like, where'd it go? Where's? Uh, <laughs> vampire image. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. It's not there. It's it like disappears. No reflection. <laughs> so tell me, Ray. Uh, next show that's what I say about the future like tell me your fucking like what do you want for, like cause this space this espacio es para saber de los sueños también de un sueño americano you know the American dream also, dude this place fucking, this you know? place reeks of the American dream man this is the American dream in action this is motherfuckers and we're just here trying to make it happen oh, you yeah. know we're, we're, we're scrapping by but we're, we're, we're doing it and that that is what the American dream is like. we're, we're living it right now here, here we are, just like you know, getting by in this room in this warehouse. You know, we have the internet now, which is which is a huge advantage. But we're we're living it right now. I, you I know, think, so I'm, I'm I'm stoked. I think where people are disconnecting with the American dream is they're forgetting the essential part of it, which is the hard work. Yeah. You know, uh, hard work is a part of the American dream, and this obviously has taken a lot of hard work. So that's why it's it's a, it's a success. Yes. It's because of the time and effort, blood, sweat, tears, and elbow grease put into it. You know, it's no substitute. Just like with comedy, there's no substitute for just doing it. That's that's yeah. the number one thing. That After some years, we're gonna look back and see like, man, that shit was like the the pioneer or, or a lot of other stuff. Dude, definitely. Like, look, man, I've been uh, I've been wanting to get <clears throat> some kind of comedy scene cracking down here, like in, in like South LA for a while. Because the, the the majority of the comedy scene is is concentrated in the valley in Hollywood, obviously for obvious reasons. You know, there there there's some clubs out in, in the OC. There's a uh, Laugh Factory Long Beach, but nothing really going on here, man. So I really want to try to to bring uh, that to, to this area because I know there's a lot of people. Everybody likes to laugh, man, but nobody yeah. wants to go pay a fucking ten or fifteen dollar cover and go pay for expensive ass drinks you know at, at a fucking club, do. man. But we, but they still want to like you know laugh and shit and see like live performance like that. You can watch shit on TV, but there's something about watching people live. doing it live in front of you. There's something just so real. Well, obviously <laughs> real, but, but I mean, really just moving you know? it. Like, yeah. I mean, well, you, well, you, you, you know what I mean. You know, you know what I mean. Right. No, nobody's telling you what to say, what to do right here. You know, right here. Like, right yes. here, you're fullest. You, you are your fullest. Right. You're, you're not someone like they, 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 put you, they, they put it on you a persona like oh, you have to do this well e even though we have jokes that are written that doesn't mean that every set is the same Definitely. every time a performance it's different yeah I was playing around with my set today like like crazy right. yeah, yeah I was I was playing with so, it so when you're with an audience when an audience is in that moment that means that there's going to be some things that happen that only happen during that show it's so it's so like a, you, you, you create an inside joke for this group of people 
So now everybody who saw that show is, has, is bonded on some level because they all get some inside joke that nobody else who wasn't there doesn't get. It's, it's and it connects you to the performer, connects you to each other. Like everybody should get to experience that. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? What I like about this show that everybody has like a, their own comedy. You know, everybody does their shit. Their own style. Nobody's copying it. You know? Yeah. No. Nah, what, what happened to the first guy? He, um, he Kevin. Yeah. Kevin Paniagua. He did the. the he did a set Spanish? in Spanish. That was fucking <laughs> like. That was his first time doing a Spanish. That show. was his first. He he said he, that he even wanted to do it, but like you really can't do that. Like out in the valley or whatever because nobody speaks Spanish really and and, and he's been wanting to do it and he knows that you have a large audience que, yeah. que, que son de Latino America y no más habla en español so he was, he was doing his set in Spanish and like honestly like most of what I saw him do I've never seen him do so he was he was ad-libbing a lot of stuff yeah. which is awesome man like I really enjoyed uh, Kevin's set Kevin is a really funny dude man I, I very funny dude uh, I bet his set was great I didn't understand it <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, tried, like, he has that, that slow comedy that, that you gotta really, really pay attention. Like, but if I doesn't put you to speak, I mean, you follow him, like, real good, like, because he's gonna fucking say something funny. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. And he, he was it's talking about sperm and penis and, and shit. Out, like, nice. He, he was saying, like, poetry and then something like a related to porn. You know, yeah. Something yeah. like that, you know? He, he's got a rhythm that just makes you listen in. You know, yeah, he, I remember the first time that I saw Kevin perform, I was just like, holy shit, how long has this guy been doing this? This guy is fucking hilarious. Just like his delivery, his fucking, his, his turns, his punchlines. His tempo, his speed yeah, is, is, is original, very yeah, original. Yeah. You don't hear anybody else that speaks at the same rhythm as him. Yeah. Not even close. Just, uh, just, uh, just his demeanor, just everything, very, just, yeah, he's, he's, I think we were talking about it the other day. It was just like, man, in, in, in 10 years, that guy's going to be a fucking murderer. Oh, yeah. He's I can't wait to see his set. Oh, my God. 10, 15 years from now. What happened to all the other um, guys? They, they, didn't, they didn't have, like, uh, SoundCloud. They didn't have, like, a, a fucking YouTube. Like, what happened, man? They're not into this year. Or no, they're into you, you know what, man? It's actually uh, not as easy as now you I, would think. I feel fucking hipster, dude. I feel like a hipster. Before, man, I used to say, fuck the media, you know? I only... I'll write your letter or something. By the way, check right me out. Now? Facebook slash Chino Bra. Uh, Snapchat Chino Bra. Yeah. Instagram right. Chino Bra. Yeah. Twitter is Chino Bra. Funny Guy. That's, I gotta what, get I that fixed. That's what I'm saying. I'm I only on Facebook. Ray Reynolds, Ray Naga. Check it out. Ooh, Look me ooh. up. Yeah, Because uh. I want all the info. You know, whenever I record someone in my... Because this, this kind of podcast is it's called like um, Revolution. And what I do with the, with, the, with the phone is called the, rep, the Report Ghetto. So it's another fucking, another fucking shit, you know. And and then I was asking them, hey, uh, what is your fucking your social media? No, I don't have it. I'm like, uh, at least shoot me your fucking number. I mean, right, stress, something. Or stress, your number or something like. For, uh, why they were shy? Write <laughs> write right your address on this napkin. Do what you have to at do. At least give me some beer. Like I mean, like we have in the spot. Yeah. Know, yeah. Like, it was good, man. I like it, dude. I, I, I did like the whole fucking show. I like everyone that did the stand up, man. I, I fucking know your stuff. I know you too, man. Fuck yeah. Dude. Hopefully, we fucking work again. And do oh, some absolutely. Push. Definitely, yeah. man. I'm, I'm, I'm very yeah. sure. Yeah. Let's do this shit. Man. Yeah, I'm not too far uh, far away from Ray at most times in the comic scene. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, hit Ray up. Let us know, yeah, man. man. Any, any time, like, we're, we're always down to do this, man. So, you can count on us. For sure, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll always be, you know, trying to, like, rotate, get new and fresh comics out here. Yeah. Honestly, this last time, I actually tried to get a f- couple of female comedians uh, to come out. I tried for this one, but uh, the, the ones that I talked to were like, oh, either they were busy. They're like, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, for, where is it? One of them actually said, I'm not going to name any other day. I don't do podcasts. Ooh. Those were those were her exact words. Wow. And I was like, like really? You fucking two people? up for this shit? They like, are inviting you to a fucking podcast. Inviting yeah, I'm you, like, you're, you're going to perform you. and do and, and then do a podcast. Do like, what, what you do, love. What's not to like? But whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, everybody has that their reasons, something. I guess. Hey, some bands, but, uh, they t- they'll tell me the same shit. Some bands, they'll be like, nah, dude, we don't talk. We, we like to fucking play. And I'm like, ah, oh, nah, man, come on. I, uh, come on, Chase. Yeah, I understand. Well, that's that's their that's their thing, 
you know, speaking into a microphone in front of people is not for everyone. Maybe, <laughs> maybe for those bands, it like adds to their mystique, though. Like I could see that for like a band where it's like, no, we don't talk, we just play. But like yeah. comedians, all we do is talk. Yeah. Why don't you want to go someplace and talk? What's your problem? At least talk to yeah. us, you know. Right. Oh, I'm a comedian. Yeah. Don't tell a joke, you know. At least yeah, yeah. Like, oh, hey, can I co-host with you? At least tell me that or something like that. I don't but, know. But like, you know? Here, here's the thing. All we do is talk, literally. Yeah. This, get, this we, is our. Sometimes we get paid money. Sometimes we get paid a lot of money to just talk. If you turn down any opportunity to talk, you don't deserve the money. You're yeah, getting. like it's what like, are you doing? That's yeah. what you do. Shut up. If and somebody talk. were to fucking hit me up tomorrow, like, hey, you want to do this fucking show in a fucking truck stop bathroom? Yeah, I'll, I'll fucking do it. Any uh, any opportunity that you get to, you know, do your thing, which is, and our thing is, like, literally just talk in front of people. Go up there and talk to them. You know, it, you got to do it. Like, why? why I, don't, I, I really here? don't understand some people sometimes. Dude, I, like, you give them the invitation. Like, me, you can invite me to your house or to another podcast. I don't care if it's in the fucking bathroom. I don't care how you're going to record me with a phone, with a fucking A-track. I don't know. I, I, don't, I really don't know. As long as you fucking give me a good interview, make me a good interview, you know, like you gotta watch out my back, don't fucking try to fucking talk about something stupid, make me look stupid, you know, like, que nos cuidemos todos, they don't yeah. fucking doing some crappy ass shit, you know, that, and then they ask you to go to a show and you don't want to accept, right. it's kind of like, ah. yeah, it, you know, you gotta support if you want to be supported. Period. If you're not supporting other artists, you're not really a part yeah, of the art what community. The fuck are you doing? Yeah. If you're not a part of the art community, you're just an artist. Like yeah. to become a part of the art community, you have to support art as well as deliver art. And, and, and this that. place, Definitely. you know, let me tell you this right. This place you could bring your mom, you could bring your dad. Like probably they don't wanna go to your comedy stuff, but uh -huh. right here, dude, probably you could bring your older daughter where you know, because it's safe, you're it's in front of you or something. You I'm know? actually really lucky my mom is like my biggest fan. She's yeah, on man. like Your she wasn't at first. Awesome. She wasn't at first. She told me don't quit my day job first night. She's telling me. Yeah. <laughs> but when she got on the Chino train, she's she's been. She'll be like. Boop, she's boop. Been yeah, she's all. She's my biggest supporter. She's yeah, amazing. all moms are. So Her and my some girlfriend. Yeah. I still I can't bring my mom to any of my shows. <laughs> yeah. Well, like uh, two reasons. One, uh, there's a language barrier. Um, two, uh, I don't really do. Don't wanna do mom it. friendly material. Yeah. I mean, there's some stuff in my act that just like my mom would just like just look at me different. You know what I mean? She'd be like, I I can't believe I gave you life. Yeah, it's like what? It, I was like, imagine, imagine killed you. Imagine killed you. Imagine I should have oh. eaten you at birth. You know what, man? I've been wanting to make that into a joke. That, that this is 100 percent true. I just remember this right now. Um, my mom does not like uh, weed. She never has. And uh, a few years ago, I found out why. Uh, my dad started sm he used to smoke weed back in the day when we were growing up he stopped and then just recently once we got like older he started again <laughs> and he told me that okay. the reason that my mom doesn't like weed is because uh, when we were kids my dad told her hey you know what uh, I got a little bit of weed you want to smoke my mom I don't think she had ever smoked weed before so they smoked weed I was a kid I was pr probably like one but she had a really bad trip on, on like her high that like she had this this thought like you need to kill him the baby she's like you need to kill this baby he's a fucking antichrist Jesus and my dad my dad was telling me this and i'm fucking laughing so hard but my mom was traumatized by this you know like why am i thinking about killing my child after you, smoking you, this fucking you know joint because your dad was right behind her whispering it <laughs> yeah, maybe man i kill him who all. knows <laughs> But it's really funny because I remember, like, you know, growing up, like, a couple of times, like, she would catch me, like, caught me smoking weed. She's like, why are you doing that? You know, like, that shit will make you crazy and hear voices and shit. And I would look at her like, no, no, it doesn't. Not understanding where she was coming from, you know. And, like, now that my dad told me, like, oh, see, she, my mom just can't hang. That's the that's, that's, that's smoking that good shit, man. That's dude, like, I, I, I want that weed that makes me think I'm like, kill a baby. Yeah, 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 no, no. Not make you think telling you this, to kill the baby. This weed is so strong it'll make you think you hear voices that tell you to kill babies. Weed kill, so kill the baby. What do you think that what do you think they'd name that strain? Oh fuck. <laughs> baby <God>. Slayer. <laughs> nah, what was the name of that lady that fucking drowned her kids in the bathtub? Oh, fucking was it yeah, that Fisher? bitch. That bitch. Fisher, Amy, yeah, Amy Fisher. Fucking, 
Damn, guys, you're into that fucking serial killer shit? My, my uh, mom yeah. is, actually. Uh, my mom has a whole library of books about serial killers because she's interested. I was into that serial killer. Oh, I still am into that serial Weird. killer shit. Actually, I studied psychology in college, and when I when I started doing that, it was because I was fascinated by serial killers. I was going to be a forensic psychologist, which is just a fancy way of saying somebody that tracks down serial killers. And I was going to hope Ray never catches me. It's <laughs> hey, you know, now I get your fucking necrophilia me. jokes now. <laughs> Yeah. Now I know how you fucking tell the part, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you tell it the scientific way, you know, you don't tell it like the pussy, you will be like, oh, that part? The, the, <laughs> the, the part that's left. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, like, that. The part that coyote didn't need. Just the, just the gushy hole. <laughs> <laughs> Axe wound. <laughs> Axe wound. <laughs> Entonces este, I don't mean it. ¿Qué les parece si, what do you guys think if we finish this session, two, two more minutes? Sure. That's what we have. Okay. And Dude, uh, it's, uh, it's nothing to tell you like how much I appreciate you guys are here with us, you know, doing this. That Dude, we, we appreciate with you. With us, you know, m let, let us um fucking do this fucking event with you. Because this is an event, this is a fucking play that we never, I don't know, dude, no lo planeamos, todos improvisamos. We, yeah. We improvise. It, it, no? Estamos aprendiendo, man. We're, we're, we're learning here, but I, I, I like what I saw today, man. And like I said, this place definitely potential here. We can make something good happen here. It's just, uh, you know, take what we learned today and apply it next time, you know, and, uh, and we'll just keep going forward, man. It can only go up, really. I mean, yeah. everybody's doing doing uh, their, their part, their shit. Um, the, the way I see it, you, you let us into your home, man. This feels like a home. This doesn't feel like just a venue. This is a home. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we wipe our feet off before we come in. You know, yeah. we, we, Thank res you, we respect Thank you for it. We love this place, man. Thank Seriously. You. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. Thank, thank you. Bueno, guys. Lalo, aquí también vamos a dar los últimos saludos. Te queremos agradecer a toda la gente que se conectó. We're going to thank everyone that, that got connected today. Yes, they do. Thank they you, guys. In. That's thank what they call it today. They in. tune Seriously, in. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Yeah. Tell your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your friends. Be, be, be our friend. Be our friend. Yeah. And Chino, bro. C-H-I-N-O-B-R-A-H. You know, for Bernie Ray Mark. Ray Ray on Facebook. Feel the burn. Feel it. Feel the burn. I think they call that chlamydia. You should get that checked out. Ok, muchas gracias a toda la gente que se conectó www.elcinoclan.gindo.com Muchas gracias a Lalo de la Gran Miseria A Paul, Lalo. a Adrián A you. Javier, a, a Rey Que nos trajo el show, a Chino que siempre está También a su lado, buena buena Tacting, the comedy tacting Que hacen ellos, está chingón uh, yeah. And fucking, I want to thank you guys a lot <laughs> To all the comedians that did perform today Muchas gracias, a toda la gente que se conectó A Finita a los camaradas, al pinche asco, a todos los camaradas que están aquí en el cine de acá. Muchas gracias, Rey. Muchas gracias. Thanks a lot, Chino. Gracias a ti, Rey. What he said. Chino. Ah, nos vemos para la otra. El destino del clan. Woo, 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 woo. Revenation, you know. You know. Hey, bro. Let's jam. Can we? Step the fuck back. This is my life. Living life under my own control. Step the fuck back. This is my life. Bueno, 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 ahora sí llegó la hora de decir gracias a toda la banda que estuvo acá con nosotros, gracias a la gente que se conectó. Se oye mucho ruidito, ¿verdad? No se les olvide, nos vemos el día de mañana a la misma hora y por el mismo canal. Que pasen.